Good everyone, I'm Dr. Peter Price of Classroom Professor. Welcome to this video in the free math worksheet series. This video is number 32, Count On. So this is for the very youngest students and it comes from this book, the Let's Go Book 1 Addition and Subtraction to 10. So these are actually the simplest worksheets that we have in this Developing Number Fluency series. Um, so it's for the very youngest students. So very, very basic idea um, based on counting. Now counting is a natural way for students to think about adding and counting backwards is a, a way of thinking about subtracting. Um, and at these small increments where we're just adding one or two or maybe three, um, that's quite acceptable. It's a good way for students to think about the operation. Uh, when they get onto larger numbers, when we get onto doubles and near 10 facts and so on, we don't do counting, we use other strategies. But for these very small ones, we're going to do counting. Now, we're going to use two resources for this, uh, 10 frames and number lines, and both of them are just brilliant for helping students understand these um, early number facts, these early concepts. The 10 frame is wonderful for giving the students a visual picture for every number up to 10. By putting it inside a frame, it helps them see where the number is in relation to 10, see where each number is in relation to the numbers either side of it, and so on. And there are features of numbers that are easily seen by looking at an arrangement of counters in a 10 frame. Now I'm using these magnetic counters and these are, are great on the whiteboard so um, that's a, a recommendation you might like. So here's an example, we're going to start with 5 and of course we're getting up to a 5 plus 1 number fact but just to look at the 5 itself to start with, there's so much that a child can learn by just looking at this arrangement of counters as I just said. For example you can see that it's filling half the 10 frame and we've got two different ways of arranging it. We can arrange in a row or we can do it in pairs and then any leftovers. Either way you can see that that is half a 10 frame so we can see that 5 and 5 is 10 or 10 take away 5 is 5. We can see with this arrangement that it's an odd number because there's one left over on its own, they're all in pairs. We can see it's 4 plus 1 we can see it's 6, take away 1, and so on and so on. So there are lots of advantages to having students just practice showing numbers with 10 frames. And when they're good with numbers up to 10, of course, you'll extend that on to 20. So the number fact we're looking at here is 5 and 1 more. And we'll start by asking our students to put 5 counters on their 10 frame. And then rather than say, put another one, now count them, I would suggest that it's better to say to the students, look at the five, see if you can figure out what one more is before you put the counter down. So we really want to emphasize the idea of visualizing the numbers and visualizing the answer or the, the result of carrying out the operation. Of course we're going to see that that's six. Okay, so that's the 10 frame for counting on. The number line works in a similar sort of way except of course it's a, a purely linear um, representation, it's all in one dimension, it's in a long straight line, we never sort of double up and come back underneath as with the 10 frame. And in this one we're simply saying what number comes next. So if we start at um, 3 for example, we're saying to the students can you tell what the next number is? So if we say what's 3 plus 1? All we want the student to do is think of the number that comes after it. Again, we would want the student to think about it, visualize it, process it in their mind, and hopefully provide the answer before anyone draws an arrow or you know points to the numbers and that sort of thing. So the point of using the resources is to help the students to visualize the relationships and the operation and how it all fits together so that they can handle all this on their own without the resources um, as soon as they're ready. Of course this, is, uh, this relates clearly to the sequence of counting numbers so the last thing to say is without any resources at all we would say to our students think about the counting numbers 
and is for example six plus one we would say how much is it if we if we get up to six if we count on one more after six what's the next number and of course we want the students to be able to think in their minds and process that sequence of numbers and start not back at zero but start from the number we're starting on and move on to the next one so there is actually quite a lot to do here for the very young students but it's an essential part of their becoming familiar with the sequence of counting numbers and to get used to the operation of addition. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to talking to you next week.